It's a real who's who of NFL players out at Radio Row or whatever they're calling it now out at the Super Bowl. Our guy Tua Tagovailoa, fresh off the concussion protocol list, took some time out of his life to answer some questions. Besides the heartwarming anecdote of what life is like being a new father, Tua told the world, in so many words, that next year he will be living, breathing lethal weapon. He confirmed this when he said he would be starting training in the discipline of judo. So fully expect Tua to be out there delivering strikes down the field followed immediately by a spinning back kick to the chest, not the head, for obvious reasons. He said he's not looking to become a dangerous person but I'm pretty sure if you start getting trained in judo you automatically become a man nobody should trifle with. I hope Tua understands what he's embarking on. No word yet if this lethal weapon lifestyle is about to begin means he will be dislocating his shoulder for money. But I guess it's too early to tell on that, I will say that if Tua is looking to take care of himself a bit better because he has a family now by learning how to fall better that he should enroll himself in the WWE Performance Center. The Red Rooster Terry Taylor, Norman Smiley, and the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels would absolutely straighten him out. Too bad the Hart family dungeon isn't still operational or that would be the perfect place for Tua to go and learn how to hit the deck. I fully expect Tua, who holds the record for the guy who has no clue how to take a sack like a normal person, to be falling like those parkour folks who jump off playgrounds and tumble a bit resulting in zero damage to themselves, regarding skipping the Pro Bowl, Tagovailoa offered a very cool answer that provided another glimpse into the kind of person he is. I didn't think it was necessary that the first thing I came back to do football-related wasn't team-related with the Dolphins. Tagovailoa told the Dan LeBatard show. And so that was one of the reasons as to why I didn't attend. But also like, I'm a new father and so spending time with with my son and trying to help out my wife get him on a sleep schedule, 